What's going on everybody? My name is John. Thanks for checking out the video. I've got a cool card that I just received in the mail, part of my collection. I'm super happy to have it. Wonderful card. I've spent a lot of time over the last 24 hours really analyzing the card and, and walk away with a bit of a head shaker, a head scratcher, which led me to wanting to make this video. I know we often hear, buy the card, not the grade. And that adage to me is, this is a prime example of why that adage exists. Now, the thing that I guess I'm most concerned with is why grading companies like PSA don't take a little bit of quality assurance and look at other cards that they have in their registry, validate that the grade that was assigned by their grader at least kind of borderline matches up before sending it to the customer. I don't know why they'd wanna create an inferior product in the marketplace, and unfortunately, videos like this. That said, wonderful card. This is a pre-war card, nearly 125 years old. We're gonna go ahead and flip around the camera. Let's take a look at this card and share some details. Okay, so here is the card in question. Uh, in, in question, it's really, first of all, a show and tell. This is a 1901 Ogden Guinea Gold cigarette card. Uh, the Ogden Guinea Gold cards came out initially with white borders in 1898, I believe, 1898, 1899, somewhere in that time frame. They're extremely rare, especially the golf cards are extremely rare. Um, and then there was a 1902 series that came out as well. Um, but these cards are pretty popular in the golf world, specifically in the vintage or pre-war war golf world. It, it uh, represents some of the oldest known photos um, of Harry Varden. Tom Morris has a card in this set. Um, and it, instead of like the character type drawings that you had in the coupe or cope cards that uh, would be considered in some respects, some of these, you know, uh, significant golfers, rookie cards, these are the first photographed, some of the first photographed cards uh, in the marketplace. Now, as I mentioned, there's the earlier series, the 1898s, extremely rare. I've never actually seen one in person. I've seen photos of them, but I've never seen them in person. Um, but these cards are very scarce as well. Graded across the board. Now there's different bases. There's a H base, C base, I base, and F base. Uh, those are slight variations in the card. Generally, the cards present very or mimic each other very closely, but the registration of the Guinea Gold uh, at the, the bottom, the Ogden's Guinea Gold cigarettes, that registration uh, dictates what base it is. Uh, these are more of a taupe or a beige photograph. I believe it's the F base are more yellowish. Um, and then there's slight variations related to where the text is on, if you look at this card, the C base, the text kind of covers his front toe there, where like the H base doesn't. Um, so there's other variations that these cards, and then the borders on the sides may be slightly thicker on some of those other cards, making the photo slightly smaller or the card overall slightly bigger. So there's slight variations, right? But generally they're, the, they're all in the same kind of family of cards. Uh, looking at the condition of this card, which is going to be the part two of this, this is a PSA 2 based upon what the slab says. And there's some edge wear on this side. It's probably the most edge wear is on this right side. Right? I'm not calling this a perfect card by any stretch of the imagination. There's slight whiting on both upper corners. Little edge wear on the top. Left to right centering is best to tell down here by his feet. Left to right centering is pretty solid, right? And then the bottom corners are in better shape than the top corners. You know, no major defects as far as the surface of the card. Um, just a just a good, and let me kind of tilt that to maybe get some of that glare off, but just a good clean card. Back of the card, let me actually show that in case you've never seen these. Back of the card is just plain uh, backs. This is actually probably the cleanest one. I own a few copies of these Ogden Gold cards. It's probably the cleanest one I own. Uh, some of them have little mold spores, um, which is the little black dots that are forming on them, which is common for a card that's 122 years old. So this is this is ironically one of the most clean ones um, that I've seen. You're going to have a little bit of fading or coloring, discoloring of the paper over time. Uh, but great card. Again, let me kind of angle that so 
take some of that glare off. All right, let's talk about PSA and my rant. I'm gonna show on the, the screen here as well. I'm gonna put these photos on a blog post. Um, so feel free to go check out the photos on the blog post, chasingmajors.com. There is a card that's currently for sale on eBay with a 2.5. Now it is the H base, slightly more rare card. So this isn't about the value at this point. This is just solely about the conditions of the cards. These two cards basically mimic each other. They come from the same set essentially. Um, and you know, the same parent set and, you know, should be graded very similarly. They shouldn't be graded based upon the H versus C base necessarily. But in my mind, you look at this 2.5, uh, which is actively for sale, and it looks like it got destroyed by, a, like the top corner looks like it got chewed by a dog or a small kid, right? They're, all the other corners are wildly rounded, right? Like they're just, they're not, these two cards on, aren't on the same stratosphere. They just aren't. The edging on the H base is not good. Yet this card here, which just, the camera probably isn't going to do its justice. There's just no, there's no comparison between these two cards. And this is where the rant comes in. I don't understand, and I don't know that we know, but I, and I don't believe that they do, by the way, personal opinion. Quality assurance. Like eBay and SGC, they take photos of all these cards. They retain those photos. How do you not have a quality assurance where there is somebody who assigns the grade and then there's a secondary person who goes and looks at the registry or the, the database and says, wait, you've assigned a two to this card, but this other card, and I'm not saying that this other card was graded, I didn't actually look at the numbers, but regardless, this works both ways. But this other card was graded a 2.5. There's no way that we can send this out as a two. If we send this out as a two, we're going to just, we're, the lack of credibility just continues to build. Right? Now this, the old adage of buy the card, not the grade, this is the prime example, the absolute prime example of buy the card, not the grade. But that quality assurance piece, I question that these card companies have process and standards built where there's a quality assurance piece before that card goes out to the customer, before it gets out to the marketplace and to the ether, the, the, the world of the internet, right? Knowing that people are going to be able to compare a card like this 2.5 versus this two. And the eye test, it just doesn't pass the eye test. There's nothing about this that says this card is a 2.5 greater than this two. They just don't, they don't, they don't pass the eye test. Now, the second piece to this, I'm going to show a second card. And again, this is on the website in the blog post. This is a recent sale of an SGC4. And the reason why I say that is I look at this card that I purchased. Now, I purchased this card for $99 at auction, paid about $5 shipping. So I'm into it about, a, just call it $105. Let's round up to it, $105. This SGC4, which this card mimics as far as quality, based upon my eye test, Right now, I don't own the SGC4. I didn't buy the SGC4. I don't have it to reference in person. Sold for $1,000. Now, it is the H base, and the H base is slightly more rare. And again, if you check out the, the blog post, I've pulled out all of the um, pop report information. So go check that out. You guys can look at some of the numbers yourself. But when you look at these two cards, right, one sells for $1,000. Rightfully so, right? Like this is an important card to the golf sports card hobby. Right? There's not a lot of these, and if you're trying to go for World Golf Hall of Famer registries, if you're trying to go for the best of the best, these are the types of cards that you want to have uh, in your collection as a golf fan. $1,000 to me is slightly high, but it's, it's not absurd compared to what you're seeing similar baseball cards and even football or basketball cards sell for. I paid $100 for this card. So this other card, this SGC, sold for 10 x there's no doubt in my mind if you were to put these two cards, crack them out of their slabs, set them side by side, that they're not going to basically look the same. And I'm sure if I cracked this card and sent it to SGC, I potentially would get a more fair grade, but that's not what I'm about. I, I love the card. I own the card. It's part of my collection. I really care less about the grade assignment, 
but I find it laughable when I find cards like this. And I'm sure that the grade itself turned a lot of folks off. That's why I reach out to the seller and I say, hey, help me understand, are there indentations on the card? Are there creases that aren't showing up in your pictures? You didn't note them. No, 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 no was the response, right? So now it comes to the true eye test. And I believe I got a home run of a deal on this card compared to what the, the recent H-Base SGC4 sold for. Buy the card, not the slab. Quality assurance is something I question inside the grading industry. I'm certainly happy to have this part of my collection. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know your guys' thoughts and comments below. I just, it, this is a head shaker for me, but I get to take advantage of it. I'm going to end the video there. Thanks for your guys' time. Hope that you enjoyed the card. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I'm looking to grow the channel to 250 by years, and that is a personal goal. You can uh, contribute by hitting the subscribe button, assuming you already have it. Hit the like button. Let's get this shared with more people. Appreciate it, everybody. We'll talk to everybody soon.